Okay, students. Now, let us discuss this question on impulse. It is question number 5.14 of NCERT. Chapter 5, question 14. There is a graph x versus t. x versus t graph. x is in meter. I think, yes, x is in meter. You can refer to the question. x is in meter, t is in second. The graph is like this. This is the blue, blue ink I have used for the graph. The plot is like this. See, it starts from here. It goes like this, in this way. You see the plot. Everything you are seeing, here is the point A, after which the graph is becoming completely horizontal. A point, here is 3, here is 4. All the things are very clear. It is saying here, what is the force? First part of the question. First part of the question. You have to find out the force on the particle for three things. T is less than zero. T is greater than four. And T is greater than zero, less than four. In these three, right, look, I am telling you, for these all three, what will be the force? First, here the force is zero. Try to follow me. It is zero because it is showing which part? This is. This is the part. You see? T less than zero is this part. Here is, what does it show? Body is at rest. Ye, body ka. Uh, path change ho hai. Dekho, position change ho hai. position time graph hai. position change ho hai. Yaha par kya? position is fixed position is fixed the body is at rest it shows body is at rest so force is zero okay it is because because it is showing rest position here also it is zero due to the same rest position t greater than 4 here here see its position is not changing. What does this show? It's a position time graph. You know, actually this graph is the position time graph. Position is not changing. That's why body is at rest. Here also it is zero. Then, what is this? This is, look, this is here. The position is changing, but since it is straight line, it is, re, uh, it is giving the uniform motion. So, it is showing uniform motion. If uniform motion, acceleration is zero. So, force is zero. Okay? Force is zero. It means what? In all the three cases, where what we are getting? Force is zero. In all the three cases, by this, in all the three cases, force is becoming zero. Fine. No problem. In first two cases, the body is at rest. In the third case, the body is in the uniform motion. Dynamic equilibrium. Just okay. Now, let's go to B part. B part. B part. Mein, okay. At the end of the question, one thing is written. I just mentioned. We are considering only one dimensional motion. It is instructed. Consider one dimensional motion only. Now, it is said. Find out the impulse when at t is equal to 0 and at t is equal to 4 seconds. Okay, I have to find out impulse. What is impulse? Impulse, we have to find out. Let us now determine impulse when at t is equal to 0 at t is equal to 0. Jira is called the handle. t is equal to 0. Impulse is what? Change in momentum. Take care. Change in momentum. The mass of the body is given for Yes. Okay. When the body is moving with a uniform motion, right? So, velocity is equal to how much? It is 3 by 4. 3 by 4 meter per second. Here. 3 by 4. Because slope, slope of the graph, slope of the graph will give us the velocity. Okay. Impulse jab tum yahan nikaloge, how much will be the impulse? Impulse I is equal to change in momentum. Change in momentum. Okay, 
चेंज इन मोमेंटम क्या होगा शुरुआत का मोमेंटम जीरो बिकॉज इट इज एट रेस्ट फाइनली मोमेंटम इज ये मास इन टू वेलोसिटी फोर इंटू थ्री बाई फोर आई राइट हियर इट इज एम इंटू वी माइनस जीरो बिकॉज इनिशियल इनिशियल इट इज एट रेस्ट सो जीरो फाइनली एम भी सो एम इज वॉट फोर इंटू थ्री बाई फोर माइनस जीरो हाउ मच इट इज थ्री के जी मीटर पर सेकेंड ओके एंड अगेन एट टी इज इक्वल टू फोर सेकेंड अब तुम बोलोगे सेकेंड में पूछा है इम्पल्स एट टी इज इक्वल टू फोर सेकेंड हियर हियर वॉट हैपन्स इनिशियली द बॉडी वॉज इन मोशन Finally, body comes to the rest. So here I is equal to finally zero. Initially four into three by four means how much it cancels? How much minus three kg meter per second? Okay, that means what? Here the body is changing its state. Okay, due to which at this point an impulse acts. Due to the body is coming to the motion at O, and here again an impulse is acting on it. Due to which the body is coming to the rest. This impulse and this impulse just are in the opposite direction. Firmly vector quantity. This impulse positive impulse. This impulse is negative impulse. This impulse is given by the body. This impulse is given on the body, acting on the body. Look, first one is by the body, positive impulse. Second is on the body, negative impulse. Due to which the body is coming to the rest. You have to understand this. Repeatedly, I am telling you, it is a vectorial expression. Be very careful. Vectorial means we are concerned with the direction. We have to take the direction. We are concerned with the direction. I hope you have understood it. This question. one more question i just discuss in the continuation that is the question number 5.18 let us consider question number 5.18 look 5.18 in ncert book only i am discussing so no problem should be there 5.18 this question is look two billiard balls each of mass 0.05 Kg moving in the opposite direction with speed six meter per second collide and rebound. Okay, two balls, billiard balls. One is moving this side, another moving this side, and it is saying zero point zero five, zero point zero five kg. Here also zero point zero five kg, and they are moving. With six meter per second, here also six meter per second, they collide, and after that, what happens? They collide and rebound, rebound with the same speed. Collide kia or fir rebound kia with the same speed. All right. That means if this is the first ball, this is the second ball. If I consider for the first ball, the same is for the second ball. Okay, then. That because equal uh, equal um, impulse will be imparted by one ball on the other ball. Look, how is this done? Impulse when first ball. Let us concentrate for the first ball. First ball is hitting the second ball and rebounding. All right, for first ball. Okay, direction. Very important. Incident direction. Incident. अच्छा पहले पहले first of all I just tell you. Incident direction. Direction as positive. Rebound direction is negative. I hope you understand. For both the balls, I'm not taking it from left to right or right to left. ये ball जब जा करके hit करेगा, 
इधर जाकर के हिट करेगा मैं पहले बॉल की बात कर रहा हूँ फर्स्ट बॉल जा गया टूवर्ड्स राइट तो वो पॉजिटिव आया लेफ्ट बैक करके नेगेटिव सेकेंड बॉल के लिए सेकेंड बॉल जब इंसिडेंट होगा टूवर्ड्स लेफ्ट पॉजिटिव टूवर्ड्स राइट नेगेटिव मेरे कहने का मतलब है हम किसी एक पर्टिकुलर डायरेक्शन पर नहीं जा रहे हैं हम नहीं बोल रहे हैं कि लेफ्ट टू राइट इज पॉजिटिव राइट टू लेफ्ट इज नेगेटिव ऐसा नहीं इंसिडेंट डायरेक्शन इज पॉजिटिव रिफ्लेक्टेड डायरेक्शन इज नेगेटिव अब देखो फॉर फर्स्ट बॉल लेट अस टेक इट फॉर द फर्स्ट बॉल फर्स्ट बॉल के लिए ठीक है इनिशियल मोमेंटम पी आई विल बी डेफिनेटली सिक्स इंटू और 0.05 पॉइंट जीरो फाइव इंटू सिक्स दैट इज इक्वल टू हाउ मच जीरो पॉइंट थ्री के जी मीटर पर सेकेंड एंड पी एफ इज ऑबियसली इट इज टेकन पॉजिटिव इंसिडेंट डायरेक्शन इंसिडेंट डायरेक्शन इट विल बी टेकन माइनस जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फाइव इंटू सिक्स माइनस जीरो पॉइंट थ्री के जी मीटर पर सेकेंड राइट देन वॉट इज द इम्पल्स नाउ आई वॉन्ट टू फाइंड आउट द इम्पल्स इफ आई वॉन्ट टू फाइंड आउट द इम्पल्स इम्पल्स इज इक्वल टू फाइनल मोमेंटम माइनस इनिशियल मोमेंटम इज इक्वल टू हाउ मच माइनस जीरो पॉइंट थ्री माइनस जीरो पॉइंट थ्री फर्स्ट वन इज नेगेटिव सेकेंड वन इज पॉजिटिव मीन्स माइनस जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स के जी मीटर पर सेकेंड okay the same impulse the same impulse huh for second ball because the process will be the same minus sign ka matlab kya hua minus sign ka matlab hua impulse on first ball is given by the second ball tabhi to negative aayega na aur theek usi tarah impulse on the second ball is given by the first ball mutual impulse ये नेगेटिव साइन शो कर रहा है इधर ही इंपल्स किधर लग रहा है इधर लग रहा है हमने फर्स्ट बॉल के लिए माइनस साइन किधर कंसीडर किया इधर कंसीडर किया टूवर्ड्स लेफ्ट द इंपल्स इज एक्टिंग ऑन लेफ्ट इंपल्स इज गिवन बाय द सेकंड बॉल ऑन द फर्स्ट बॉल एंड सिमिलरली द सेम प्रोसेस फॉर द सेकेंड बॉल एंड इंपल्स विल बी गिवन बाई द फर्स्ट बॉल ऑन द सेकेंड बॉल द सेम आंसर विल बी द सेम इन बोथ द केसेस जस्ट यू स्टडी दीज टू In the next class, we shall proceed.